Ten, twelve. Last time we went over the priest's share. Today we're going over Leviticus chapter 8. The entire thing. The orientation of Aaron and his sons. So, this is left to God's for left to God. The Lord said to Moses, Bring Aaron and his sons, their garments, the anointing oil, the bull for the sin offering. That was an H. Purification offering, also in verse 14, the two rams and the basket containing bread made without yeast, and gather the entire assembly at the entrance of the at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and the assembly gathered at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Moses said to the assembly, This is what the Lord has commanded to be done. Then Moses brought Aaron and his sons forward and washed them with water. He put the tunic on Aaron tied the sash around him, closed him with the rope, and put the ephod, E-P-H-O-D, on him. And there is no end. Stop. He also fastened the ephod, E-P-H-O-D, with a decorative waistband, which he tied around him. He placed the breastplate the he placed the breastpiece on him and put the Urim U R I M and Thram T H U M M I M in the Breast piece. Then he placed the turban on Aaron's head and set the gold plate. I'm recording, right? Good. The gold plate, the sacred emblem, on the front of it, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and everything in it, and so concentrated them. He sprinkled some of the oil on the altar seven times, anointing the altar and all its utensils, and basin, and the basin, with its stand to consecrate them, he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head and anointed him to consecrate him. Then he brought so, then he brought Aaron's sons forward, put tunics on them, tied sashes around them, fastened caps on them. As the Lord commanded Moses, he then presented the bull for sin offering. Then he present no, he then presented the bull for the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head. <laughs> Moses slaughtered the bull and took some of the blood with his fingers he put on he put it on all the horns of the altar to purify the altar he poured out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar so he consecrated it
to make atonement for it. <coughs> Moses also took all the fat around the internal organs, the long lobe of the liver, and both kidneys, and their fat, and burned them and burned it on the altar. But the bull with its hide and its flesh and its intestines he burned up outside the camp as the Lord commanded Moses. <coughs> then he presented the ram for the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head. Then Moses slaughtered the ram, splashed the blood against the sides of the altar. He cut the ram into pieces and burned the head the pieces and the fat. He washed the internal organs and the legs with water and burned the whole ram on the altar. <coughs> it was a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering, offering presented to the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. He then presented the other ram the ram for the orientation, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head. Moses slaughtered the ram and took some of its blood and put it on the lobe of Aaron's right ear on the sum of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot. Moses also brought Aaron's sons forward and put some of the blood uh, on the lobes of their right ears. On, their, on the sums of their right hands and on the big toes of their right feet. Then he splashed blood against the sides of the altar. After that he took the fat, the fat tail, and no, all the fat around the internal organs and the lobe of the liver, both kidneys and their fat, and the right thigh And from the basket of bread made without yeast, which was before the Lord, he took one thick loaf, one th thick loaf with olive oil mixed in, and one thin loaf, he, and he put these on the fat portions and on the right side, he put all these in the hands of Aaron and his sons, and they waved them before the Lord as a wave offering. <coughs> then Moses took them from their hands and burned them on the altar on top of the burnt offering as an oration offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering, presented to the Lord. Moses also took the breast, which was his share of the oritation ram, and waved it before the Lord as a wave offering, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood from the altar and sprinkled them on Aaron and his garments and his son and on his sons and their garments <coughs> so he consecrated Aaron in his garments and his sons and their garments Moses then said to Aaron and his sons cook the meat at the entrance to the tent of meeting and eat it there with the bread from the basket of the of orientation offering as I commanded as I was commanded 
Aaron and his sons are to eat it, then burn up the rest of the meat and bread. Do not leave the entrance to the tent of meeting for seven days until the days of your orientation are complete, for your orientation will last seven, seven days. What has done, what has been done today was commanded by the Lord to make atonement for you, anointment, something, that for you. You must stay at the entrance to the tent of meeting day and night for seven days and do not, you know, and do what the Lord requires so you will not die. For that is what I have been commanded. So Aaron and his sons did everything the Lord commanded through Moses. And that's it. If you forget, this is just all of Leviticus chapter 8. Like the entire thing. And it's called the orientation, orientation of Aaron and his sons. There's a lot to go into, I guess. Ten twenty four. Hmm.